the previous video we have discussed acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Today let's talk about how to treat acute lymphoblastic leukemia. And yes, this is true, you can treat this type of cancer in most of the cases. How to prevent ALL? There is some evidence in some studies, but not all of them. Giving folic acid to the pregnant mother can decrease the incidence of ALL in her newborn, which is pretty cool. Give me folic, don't be such an alcoholic. Hashtag no cancer. How to treat ALL? As I've told you before, chemotherapy, we have induction phase, consolidation phase followed by maintenance. For ALL, since the incidence of CNS involvement is high, we need prophylaxis for CNS and sometimes for the testes. Okay, remission induction. Why? To decrease blast cells into undetectable levels and to restore the normal marrow function. Hashtag complete remission. There are two problems during this phase, resistance and infection. When the patients are cancer-free, sometimes they say, okay, I'm healthy now, thank you doctor, I'll never come to see you again. Wrong, you'll come to see me again and you need more chemotherapy, please. Why? Because sometimes the cancer relapses, comes back. So why consolidate? Because relapse occurs in almost 100% of the cases, all of them. So we need consolidation and maintenance therapy. Okay, why prophylaxis for the CNS? Chemotherapy usually cannot penetrate the blood-brain barrier effectively thanks to astrocytes forming your blood-brain barrier. And it cannot penetrate the blood testis barrier effectively. Thank you, Sir Tolly cells, for forming such a barrier. But before starting chemotherapy, we should stabilize the patient. We should make sure that the patient is fine and ready for chemotherapy or chemotherapy candidate. How to stabilize the patient? If the patient has thrombocytopenia, give them platelets. If they have fever and granulocytopenia, do blood cultures and give them antibiotics. If they have leukostasis, do leukophoresis. Leukostasis sometimes can be an emergency. You should prevent tumor lysis syndrome by hydrating the patient and giving them allopurinol. What is tumor lysis syndrome? Here is your cancer cells. You're giving chemotherapy to destroy the cells. But you have lots of cancer cells. These cells are going to get destroyed at the same time, releasing a lot of stuff inside them. I've told you before, any electrolyte that's inside the cell more than outside start with a P such as phosphate and potassium. These are more concentrated intracellularly than extracellularly. When these cells rupture, lots of potassium in the blood, lots of phosphate in the blood, and you have a nucleus because white blood cells have nucleus, so you'll end up with lots of uric acid. All of these are terrible for your kidney. That's why we need to hydrate and give allopurinol to prevent uric acid formation. Now the patient is stable and ready for chemotherapy. First phase, induction phase. How? In ALL, you give prednisone plus vincristin. Some people will add donorubicin. Some people will add L-aspergenase. Some people will add cyclophosphamide. Okay, but if you'd like to... Make it easy, just remember prednisone and vincristin. Then consolidation followed by maintenance. Consolidation by high dose methotrexate, cyclophosphamide, cetarabine. Maintenance again by methotrexate and 6 mercaptopurine in low doses. Prophylaxis for the CNS giving intrathecal methotrexate. Sometimes we add cranial radiation. For the testes, we radiate and sometimes we give chemo. Ask the patient if he would like to freeze his sperms in a sperm bank before starting therapy because it will lead to infertility. And last resort is bone marrow transplant. 
Now, if the patient with acute lymphoblastic leukemia has this translocation, which is the Philadelphia chromosome 922 translocation, we give them a tyrosine kinase inhibitor for treatment. Tyrosine kinase inhibitor, any drug that ends in tinib, such as imatinib. And later on, when we discuss chronic myelogenous leukemia, again, they have this T922 translocation. And guess what the treatment will be? Imatinib. Locations of ALL treatment. We'll give them chemotherapy, which will lead to tumor lysis syndrome, as I've told you. Lots of potassium, lots of phosphate, lots of uric acid, leading to acute kidney injury. Historically known as acute kidney failure, but since we don't like failure, we call it now acute kidney injury. Plus, it's not actually failing because it recovers, so, so it's okay. Then we have the direct testicular radiation will lead to permanently low testosterone. So consider sperm banking before radiation, not after radiation, there will be no sperm. Okay, then intrathecal methotrexate plus intracranial radiation. They have complications such as neurocognitive dysfunction. So the leukemia itself can lead to neurocognitive dysfunction. Treatment for leukemia also can lead to neurocognitive dysfunction. So this is a tough situation. Intrathecal methotrexate can lead to something called acute leukoencephalopathy. ALL is a cancer, has high cell turnover, will lead to folate deficiency, leading to macrocytic anemia, increased uric acid, leading to kidney injury, sometimes kidney stones, okay, may precipitate gout, okay, but gout and high uric acid are not the same, increased potassium, bad for your heart, causing arrhythmia, and increasing phosphate, also bad. My heroes are ready to answer this case. We have a 76-year-old female coming to you complaining, quote, My legs are swollen. I'm tired all the time. So you order some labs. The hematocrit is 25%, which is low. This is anemia. White blood count of 42,000. This is leukemia. Platelet count is 90,000. This is thrombocytopenia. Peripheral smear shows circulating lymphoblasts greater than 20%. This is acute leukemia. Okay, then bone marrow biopsy confirms the diagnosis with this translocation of 922 Philadelphia positive ALL. Okay, she asks you, what therapy should I get? You answer, A, you should be fine, go home and enjoy life. Or B, I'll treat you symptomatically only. Or C, prednisone, vincristin, donorobicin, L-asparaginase, as if it's just a normal case of ALL, or a regular case of ALL. Or dexamethasone plus desatinib, or thalidomide, malfen, and prednisone. Okay, so C is correct if it was ALL with negative Philadelphia chromosome. E will be the answer if this is multiple myeloma. Okay, you should be fine, go home and enjoy life. No, this is wrong, she has leukemia, acute leukemia. This may be correct in cases of CLL stage zero. I'll treat you symptomatically only, no. Baby, she has cancer, look at the numbers. These are terrible. So we give her dexamethasone plus desatinib. This is the correct answer because she has the T922 translocation Philadelphia chromosome treated by a tyrosine kinase inhibitor. Anything that ends in a tinib such as imatinib or desatinib. So D is the correct answer. Guys, you are the best. I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe. Please share my videos. Until next time.